Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. My name is Chanda, Assalamu alaikum. And today we have a video about the recent events that happened in France. As we all know, there were some recent attacks and the government retaliated by actually depicting the Prophet, uh, peace be upon him, on some buildings uh, whereby uh, a lot of Islamic uh, nations or the people whereby the inhabitants of those nations were very angry and they started a boycott. So yeah, let's uh, start the video. What's the difference between a macaron and macron? This macaron is for one consistent, whereby both faces are the same. While President Macron, on the other hand, is completely inconsistent and holds many different contradictory faces. For long, Macron has positioned himself as the face of freedom of speech. He has aggressively defended the right to insult the sacred symbols of Muslims and even allowed for such insults to be projected onto government buildings. Yet, when it comes to insults hurled against his leadership and his country, Mr. Macron has a very different face. For example, following President Erdogan's suggestion that Macron needed mental treatment for his harsh behavior towards Muslims, the French president's office quickly censured him for his unacceptable comments and immediately withdrew their ambassador from Turkey stating that shrewdness and insults would not be tolerated and that such commentary was dangerous. Clearly, Macron's belief in freedom to insult isn't so free after all. But of course, this hypocrisy isn't new. It was only recently in Beirut where he was again exposed for his hypocrisy after he refused to condemn cartoons denigrating the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He claimed that the President of the French Republic should never have the right to comment on any editorial choice by a journalist. Yet. Only moments later, he was caught heavily rebuking a French journalist for reporting on his sketchy meetings with Hezbollah. The hypocrisy is blatant and something that is even entrenched in France's own laws. For instance, France considers it a crime to denigrate the French flag in a public place, and anyone caught trying to destroy, damage, or use the flag in a degrading manner would be subject to a hefty fine. Clearly, France considers some symbols more sacred than others. Yet to France, freedom of speech is nothing more than a political tool that is yielded selectively. At times, it's imposed to denigrate and marginalize religious minorities, and at other times, it's withheld to protect the nation's secular authority. While those who openly denigrate the sacred symbols of religious people are given free reign to do as they please, we find that France's Muslim population and those critical of the French authority are not afforded the same freedom. French mosques and Islamic schools are regularly shut down. Human rights activists who speak out against Islamophobia are subjected to assault by French authorities. Even charity workers in the Muslim sector are constantly monitored and even imprisoned for shedding light on government abuse. And of course, French laws constantly dictate what Muslim women can and can't wear. Does France's Muslim population not deserve the same right of freedom of speech as everyone else? Clearly not. This application of freedom of speech is nothing for France to boast about, nor is it anything a society should espouse to adopt. The right to insult and mock religious people will not lead to the advancement of society, nor its liberation. Rather, it will only hasten society's decline and debasement. It threatens social cohesion and further bridges the divide between people. In 2019, a French report noted one thing. Yeah, I think if you insult people, that's uh, freedom of speech. And it's the, the person who gets insulted doesn't have the freedom to get angry. 1043 Islamophobic incidents occurred. That's a 77% increase since 2017. This will, of course, only continue to worsen as France's leadership continues to defend the right to insult and abuse that which is sacred to religious people. It's no surprise that it was only last week that two Muslim women were stabbed under the French symbol of liberty, the Eiffel Tower, as the attacker shouted dirty Arabs. Free speech simply does not exist in absolute form, and no society will function effectively if it attempts to do so. Societies across the world have laws to limit speech harming religious minorities, and France should be no exception. Yet despite this, Muslims are still required to tolerate and even celebrate the freedom of others to insult the dearest man to their hearts, Prophet Muhammad Lastly, let it be known to France's leadership 
and Mr. Macron. We see right through your hypocrisy. And every reasonable person of sound mind and intellect can see it too. The hypocrisy you espouse is shameful and embarrassing. And quite frankly, nothing more than a smokescreen to hide all the governmental failures your leadership has suffered. So maybe take a lesson or two from the Macron. Lose the contradictory faces and be consistent. If you enjoyed this video along with all the other content. So yeah, this was the video and what do they expect if you insult and offend more than a billion people that the people take it for granted and say it's all right. The Muslims in their religion, it teaches the Muslims to not insult other gods and other people's sacred things because it might uh, end up in also offending their religion. The French government doesn't respect the Muslims' sacred sites and prophets. It is freedom of speech to put pictures of the prophet on buildings, peace be upon him, where they are claiming that he is the prophet. But it is not the freedom of speech that if Erdogan says to the president of France you need a check up that's unacceptable and it's rude and they even took their ambassador of their out of their country out of Ankara this is a hypocrisy on every level and it is very very clear so yeah but what can we do to uh, to defend our prophet I would say maybe to uh, follow the teachings of the prophet peace be upon him follow his sunnah try to uh, know who the Prophet peace be upon him is and follow his way um, learn what he said what he did what he teaches what he did teach to the people and uh, I see you in the next video Wassalamu alaikum